bring more opportunities to your digital life. In this video, I will fully walk you through how to use Video Solo Video Converter Ultimate. After enabling the program, there are four different modules for you, Video and Audio Converter, MV Maker, Video Collage, and Toolbox with many advanced and hidden features. After you get the registration code, just move up to the menu and click here to register your account. Select the Converter module. Click the plus button on the main interface to batch add files to the program. Or click the Add Files button here to select the files you want. Or directly drag and drop the files into the main window. Click Convert All To and a window will pop up. For video, it lists all regular output formats, like MP4, MKV, 4K, etc. For audio, it contains MP3, AAC, WAV and more are provided. There are also many video presets for portable devices including Apple, Samsung, Huawei, and more. Or you can click this gear icon to set a new desired parameter. Enter the profile name, choose the desired quality, encoder, resolution, frame rate, and bitrate. Then click Create New. Here it is. Now choose the output format you need. Or you can set them one by one by clicking the icon here. After setting, turn to Save To to select a folder for your converted files. Lastly, simply click the Convert All button to start converting. Once finished, you can switch to Converted section and click the Open Folder icon to find the converted files. By the way, you can click gear here and select Convert to change the maximum number of convert tasks to improve the speed of conversion. First, add the video you want to edit into the program. Then click the cut icon. Drag the clipper to choose the start and end time for your clip. Then click the add segment button to add the current clip to the list. Or click fast split to split it by average or by time like that. Finally, click save to save them. Now, you can click edit to do basic editing for your video. Rotate and crop your video, add effects and filters, add a watermark, adjust the audio track and add subtitles to the video permanently. You have four ways to choose to rotate your video, rotate 90 degrees to the left or to the right, flip horizontally or vertically. Besides, you can drag the border to adjust the aspect ratio of the video, or directly choose the one you want from the commonly used ratios here. After that, select Effect and Filter, here you can adjust the video's contrast, saturation, brightness, and hue to your desired effect. Or directly select a filter you want here. Moreover, you can select Watermark to add an exclusive watermark to your video, like texts, images, you can also disable audio track here and click plus to add the audio you like to it. Then you can drag this bar to adjust the volume and allow you to boost it up to 200%. And you can also choose to delay the audio. Then turn to subtitles, click the plus icon here to import the subtitles file. If you don't have a local subtitle file, there is also a search window where you can find and download the subtitle files you need directly from the internet. After adding the subtitles, you can adjust the settings as needed, then click OK to return to the main interface. If you think the video is too large to output, you can click here to compress it before exporting. At the bottom right, you can choose whether to merge the segments above into one. Finally, click Convert All to start converting. After finishing, switch to the Converted section to access the converted videos. In the toolbox, there are so many advanced and hidden tools. 
Next, I will give a detailed tutorial on how to use Media Metadata Editor, Video Compressor, GIF Maker, 3D Maker, and Video Enhancer. Other tools, like Video Trimmer, Merger, Cropper, Color Correction, Volume Booster, etc., are still worthy of discovery by yourself. Select Media Metadata Editor. Now click the plus button to add the file to edit its metadata information, like title, artist, album, composer, genre, and cover. Finally click Save button to save it. Select Video Compressor from the Toolbox tab. Also, you need to click the plus button to add the file you want to compress. Adjust the output file size, the format, and the resolution to the desired value. Then click Preview to preview the set video. If you're satisfied with the video, finally click on the Compress button to start the process. Open the GIF Maker on the Toolbox tab. If you want to convert a video to GIF, click the plus button here to add the video to the program. Next, you can cut the video file to get the video clip you need. or use the built-in editor to edit it. Then set the output size and frame rate. Finally, click the Generate GIF button to output the GIF. Now select 3D Maker. Click the plus button to import the 2D video to the program. Now you can customize the anaglyph and depth of the video clip to the right 3D effect according to your 3D device. Then set the output format and quality of the video. If you want, you can split the screen side by side or top and bottom. When all settings are done, click Generate 3D to convert the 2D video to 3D. Select Video Enhancer. Then click the plus button to add the video to the program. Here are four options to enhance your video quality, upscale resolution, optimize brightness and contrast, remove video noise and reduce video shaking. Choose the function you need. You can also select several functions at the same time. Then set the output format and resolution. If needed, you can click cut to cut and split your video before enhancing it. After all settings are done, you can preview the effect. If you're satisfied with it, just click Enhance to output your video. Navigate to the MV tab, click the plus button or drag the media files or folders into the MV Maker. Next, you can click Edit to edit the video by rotating and cropping, adding effects, filters, and watermarks, adjusting the audio. If the videos are too long, you can click Trim to trim and save the video clips you need. After trimming, you can adjust the position of each clip. Now select one desired MV theme here. Click Setting to add the start and end title to your MV. Then you can disable the video's original sound, add new music to the video, and decide whether to fade in or fade out. Before exporting, you can set the name, format, frame rate, resolution, quality, and saving path of the video. Finally, click Start Export to output the video. Turn to the Collage tab. Choose the template you want and a common aspect ratio of the video or click here to customize it. Then set the border type, color, and image. There are more than 50 filters you can choose from. Just add a preset filter to the whole collage. Now click Audio. Keep the original audio or add the background music you like. 
you can set the play mode like loop play, fade in, or fade out, and adjust the audio to your desired volume. Now you can rename the file, set the output parameters, and enable GPU acceleration, etc. Finally, click Start Export to output the video. Go to the menu and click Preference. You can enable hardware GPU acceleration to speed up the conversion. Set the output saving path and select the output screenshot format. And scroll down to decide whether to change other tools saving path. When the task is completed, choose whether to shut down, sleep, or exit the computer. That's all. Give a big thumbs up and subscribe for more.